Hey everyone, it's Brian with Aquascape and welcome to the 2016 Flower and Garden Show. It's that time of year again and our big focus too is inspire, motivate and educate. And what we've kind of done is a different twist on, what things, on things we've done in the past. What you're looking at here is what we call our blank canvas. And I think what's so neat about this is this is a yard that people live with. And everybody wants to do something fun and exciting but they have no idea what the potential is in a space like this. So what do you think? Would you ever guess all of this could fit in the same amount of square footage? We're talking about 250 square foot. But we've got a koi pond and the fish swimming around all over the place. We've got a neat little deck, even a fire rock built right into the edge. But can you picture yourself sitting on this chair, the sound of the waterfall, birds kind of coming in here and there. You've got a nice privacy with the arborvitaes over there, a different take on a fence back behind me. We simply just took recycled pallet wood and stapled it to an existing fence. So you can get pretty creative in a small space. So another space, remember, exact same footprint, kind of that triangle pie shape. What I've got over here is a simple little bamboo fountain. We ran water up through the bamboo, it trickles down through a rock. It's got a beautiful little sound as birds and stuff come bathe by it. The sound of that water is so relaxing. And then to complement that, right adjacent to it, we put a neat little babbling brook. What I love about this is we were building it, I said, gosh, this is simple. Literally, if you count how many rocks are in this, we've got 12 total rocks throughout the entire thing. Minus the gravel, of course, but 12 rocks. So if you can picture moving 12 boulders to your backyard, you could build something this neat. So this is one of my favorite, right? It's got all the different crashing waterfalls, a great sound. We call it our North Woods one. Real simple landscape, lots of evergreen stuff just kind of creeping in over the edge. A little bit more complex, maybe a little harder than the average weekend warrior would want to attempt, but it gives you again an idea of what you can do in that small space. We've got a fence back over here, some neat trees, nice babbling brook that comes down and disappears into what we call our pondless waterfall system. A really fun, simple project in a small space. As many people as inspired by the little vignettes, of course we wanted to pull in our patio ponds. Our patio ponds fit anywhere. I don't care if you live in a townhome, I don't care if you live in a condo. If you have a small terrace, a small patio, a front door, this will fit by it. We've got three different sizes, 42 inch, 36 inch, and 24 inch. So you choose different colors, different shapes, everybody can get into water gardening at some point. So I jumped up in the space just to kind of show you how fun it could be. This is what we call our cottage garden kind of themed booth. Lots of tulips, lots of colors, all kinds of different bulbs and stuff will be planted. We've got a neat stacked urn sitting over here to my right. What's fun about this is the amount of wildlife, something even this small attracts. You would not believe the amount of birds that come and perch themselves on here. In fact, I see a couple. <laughs> But as this water comes down, it goes down to a tank, it just recirculates back up. This is an easy, easy project for anybody to install. What I love about this one even more is how spectacular it looks at night. As these underwater lights shine up on it, it really accentuates all this dripping water that comes down. It literally looks like silver is falling off this thing in the middle of the night. So I don't know what you'd call this, contemporary bowls, dripping fountains, anything, but it's definitely a showstopper. It seems to be the majority's favorite, but what an impact this has. And what I like about it, it's a huge feature in a small space. Again, it's the same footprint. Could you ever imagine that that simple area of grass could be transformed into something like this? This is my wife's favorite, right? She's not really into gardening that much, so she looks at this and says, low maintenance, low maintenance, I can just sit back, enjoy. But how spectacular is this? Water dripping all over the place. This might seem a little extreme to some, and so we even did a little simple version right next to it. If you look over here, we took one of the exact same bowls, plumbed it from the bottom, water fills up in the bowl, and then weeps down the side here and hugs the side of this bowl. What's neat is the sound this makes as it hits the gravel. So kind of a different take on it, but what a cool coffee table to sit outside. So hopefully I educated a little, motivated a lot, and inspired even more. I think what's spectacular is a lot of these things are capable of you guys doing it yourself. We always have fun here. It's a place where we get to try, experiment, and uh, meet all you guys. So hope to see you sometime at the Chicago Flower and Garden Show. If you don't make it this year, hope to see you sometime in the near future. 